iPhone's China syndrome, a fall from grace. The iPhone, a name synonymous with premium smartphones, cutting edge technology and global desirability. But in China, the narrative is shifting. The iPhone 16, despite a price cut aimed at enticing Chinese consumers has stumbled, sales figures are down, and the once unstoppable tech giant is facing an uphill battle in the world's largest smartphone market. What's behind this unexpected turn of events? The answer lies in a confluence of factors from fierce competition from local brands to evolving consumer preferences and a rapidly changing technological landscape. The stakes. Why China matters for Apple? China isn't just another market for Apple. It's a cornerstone of its global strategy. For years, China has been a vital source of growth for the tech giant, representing a significant portion of iPhone sales and contributing substantially to Apple's bottom line. The Chinese market is also crucial for manufacturing. Apple relies heavily on Chinese manufacturing partners for the production of iPhones and other products. This dependence adds another layer of complexity to Apple's relationship with China. The hometown heroes Huawei, Xiaomi and Oppo rise to the challenge. The rise of Chinese smartphone brands like Huawei, Xiaomi and Oppo has been nothing short of meteoric. These homegrown companies have successfully chipped away at Apple's market share by offering a potent combination of innovative features, stylish designs, and aggressive pricing. Huawei, in particular, has emerged as a formidable competitor, especially in the premium segment. Its Made in P-Series phones boast cutting-edge camera technology, sleek aesthetics and powerful processors, directly challenging Apple's dominance in the high-end market. Loyalty-tested Chinese consumers rethink their choices. Chinese consumers once fiercely loyal to Apple are increasingly open to exploring alternatives. This shift can be attributed to several factors. The narrowing gap in technology and features between iPhones and flagship phones from local brands is a significant driver. Additionally, the patriotic sentiment associated with supporting homegrown brands cannot be ignored. Many Chinese consumers feel a sense of pride in using products developed and manufactured in their own country. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. The value proposition more bang for your buck the Chinese smartphone market is highly price sensitive. Consumers are constantly seeking the best possible features and specifications at the most competitive price point. This emphasis on value for money is played in favor of local brands that are often able to offer comparable specifications to iPhones at a lower cost. While Apple has traditionally positioned itself in the premium segment, this strategy faces challenges in a market where consumers are increasingly discerning and value conscious. A sea of smartphones navigating the saturated market, the Chinese smartphone market is incredibly saturated. With numerous brands vying for consumer attention, standing out from the crowd is more challenging than ever. This saturation puts pressure on all players, including Apple, to innovate constantly and differentiate themselves from the competition. Apple's strategy of releasing incremental updates to its iPhones while successful in the past is facing scrutiny in this dynamic market, where consumers are bombarded with new releases and flashy features. Premium versus practicality where Apple stands. Apple has long enjoyed a dominant position in the premium segment of the Chinese smartphone market. Its iPhones are synonymous with luxury aspiration and a certain social status. However, this focus on the high-end segment also means that Apple has a limited presence in the mid-range and budget-friendly categories. This strategic positioning creates both opportunities and challenges. While Apple commands a loyal following among affluent consumers, it risks missing out on a vast segment of price-conscious buyers who are increasingly opting for feature-rich phones from local brands at more accessible price points. From hype to reality, the iPhone 16's post-launch blues. The iPhone 16 launch in China was met with the usual fanfare and excitement that accompanies any new Apple product. However, the initial buzz failed to translate into sustained sales momentum. The reasons for this post-launch slump are multifaceted and reveal deeper challenges facing Apple in the Chinese market. The lack of groundbreaking innovation in the iPhone 16 compared to its predecessors is one factor contributing to the lukewarm reception. Consumers expect Apple to push boundaries with each new iteration, and the iPhone 16's incremental upgrades have left many underwhelmed. The numbers tell a story declining sales and missed targets. The iPhone 16's struggles in China are clear in the sales figures. Market research shows a year-on-year -year decline in iPhone shipments in China. Analysts estimate significant drops in iPhone sales compared to previous years. This decline is a missed opportunity for Apple in the crucial Chinese market. Innovation fatigue. Is Apple losing its edge? 
One of the most concerning aspects of the iPhone 16's performance in China is the perception that Apple is losing its innovative edge. For years, Apple was synonymous with groundbreaking features, sleek design, and a seamless user experience. However, recent releases have been criticized for lacking the wow factor that once set iPhones apart from the competition. Whether this perception is entirely accurate is debatable. Apple continues to invest heavily in research and development, and its products remain technologically advanced. However, the competition is caught up and consumers are no longer willing to pay a premium for incremental upgrades. The 5G factor a missed opportunity. The rollout of 5G networks globally has created a significant opportunity for smartphone manufacturers. While Apple has incorporated 5G capabilities into its iPhones, there's a sense that the company hasn't fully leveraged 5G in the Chinese market. Chinese brands, on the other hand, have been quick to embrace 5G, releasing a wide range of 5G-enabled devices across various price points. Bridging the gap, strengthening Apple's retail presence in China. Apple's retail strategy in China has also come under scrutiny. While the company has a presence in major cities, its retail footprint is relatively limited compared to the vastness of the Chinese market and the extensive networks of its local competitors. Expanding its retail presence, particularly in smaller cities and towns, could help Apple reach a wider customer base and provide a more tangible experience of its products and services. This expansion would require significant investment but could pay dividends in the long run by increasing brand visibility and accessibility. Cost in translation tailoring marketing for the Chinese consumer. Another area where Apple needs to improve is its marketing strategy for the Chinese market. While Apple's global marketing campaigns are often praised for their sleek aesthetics and aspirational messaging, they sometimes fail to resonate with Chinese consumers. Adapting its marketing campaigns to better reflect local cultural nuances, consumer preferences and language sensitivities could help Apple connect with Chinese consumers on a deeper level. This localization would require a nuanced understanding of the Chinese market and a willingness to tailor its messaging accordingly. Expert opinions weighing in on Apple's China strategy. Industry experts and analysts have offered various perspectives on Apple's challenges in China and potential strategies for recovery. Some believe that Apple needs to reconsider its pricing strategy, making its products more accessible to price-sensitive Chinese consumers. Others suggest that Apple should focus on developing more innovative features that cater specifically to the Chinese market. There's also a consensus that Apple needs to enhance its retail presence and marketing efforts in China to better compete with local brands that have a stronger foothold in the market. The voice of the consumer, or what Chinese users are saying, having the Chinese consumer's perspective is crucial for Apple to regain its footing in the market. Social media platforms, online forums, and customer reviews provide valuable insights into what Chinese users think about the iPhone 16 and Apple products in general. These platforms reveal a mix of opinions, while some users remain loyal to Apple, citing the brand's ecosystem, user experience, and prestige, others express disappointment with the lack of innovation, high prices, and limited appeal to Chinese consumers. Recommendations for Apple's future in China The iPhone 16 struggles in China serve as a wake-up call for Apple. To regain its ground, Apple needs a multi-pronged strategy. First, rethink pricing. Competitive pricing for mid-range models could attract price-conscious Chinese consumers. Second, embrace innovation. Deliver groundbreaking features that excite consumers. Third, tailor products. Develop features and services for the Chinese market, like localized apps and payment solutions. Expand retail presence, especially in smaller cities. And fifth, localize marketing. Adapt marketing campaigns to resonate with Chinese culture and preferences. Apple's success hinges on its ability to adapt, innovate, and reconnect with Chinese consumers. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know in the comments what you think about the iPhone 16's poor sales in China. Do you think Apple can turn things around, or is this a sign of bigger problems for the company? Be sure to check out our other video on smartphone trends, where we explore the latest developments in this space. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.